everyone, I'm Jackie. Today we will make mumalengi muchim or dried radish kimchi. A raw radish is 95% water, 3% carbohydrate, 1% protein, and has negligible fat. Normally I buy dried radish slices from a grocery store to cook them, but this time I wanted to dry the radish slices myself. I had a big fresh radish, so I cut it into thick slices and dried them at my own porch. I chopped over 1.2 kilograms of radish and dried the slices in the north veranda. Radish slices were losing moisture every day and after about a week, it decreased to a tenth of original volume. I dried them for a few more days. Then the dried radish weighed only 60 grams. It has been reduced to almost 120s. In fact, 95% of water has evaporated. The final quantity was too small, so I had to add grocery bought radish to my own dried radish. When the radish is dried, the texture becomes very chewy like meat, but still remains crispy, and the sugar content becomes much higher. Boil 1 liter of water, pour the boiled water to the radish, and soak them in the water for 2 minutes. Then the dried radish becomes soft and still chewy. You can easily wash away the dirt on the dried radish surface. Throw away the hot water. Wash the dried radish 3 times and drain. Squeeze out excess water by hand. Making sweet rice flour paste. Mix a half cup of water and one tablespoon of sweet rice flour in a Pyrex cup. Put it in microwave and heat for one minute at medium power level. Take it out and mix well. Heat it in microwave for one minute again at medium power level. Take it out and let it cool. If you don't have enough time, you can cool it in ice water like me. Put the radish in a bowl and add 2 tablespoons of mirim, half teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 4 tablespoons of red pepper powder to basically season the radish. In this way, you can also make your radish have more vivid color. Mix them well and set it aside for about 10 minutes while the sweet rice paste cools down. Add all the ingredients for the paste in a large mixing bowl. Mix everything together. Mix them gently. Originally, when Koreans make mumalengi muchim, we add in some fish sauce, but I wanted to make it vegan style, so I didn't include fish sauce. However, if you're okay with fish sauce, you can add 1 tablespoon of fish sauce in the seasoning. You can keep them in the refrigerator for over 3 weeks. Please subscribe. Thank you.